Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go back to the previous version of Windows without losing data. Right now, I have Windows 11 installed, and I'm going to downgrade it to Windows 10. First, we need to know that, after upgrading, we can only go back to the previous version of Windows within 10 days. After 10 days, our previous version of Windows will be automatically deleted from our PC, and we won't be able to go back. If you want to go back to Windows 10 after 10 days, then you'll need to install Windows 10 freshly. Guys, there is one more thing you need to know. Windows 11, Dev Build Update, Settings has similar interface to Windows 10, but in Windows 11, Insider Preview Update, Settings interface is different from Windows 10. In Windows 11, Insider Preview version, click on Start button, and go to Settings. And we will get Recovery option under the System window. Click on it. Here, we can see Go Back option. In Windows 11 Dev Build Update, click on Start button. Go to Settings, and click on Update and Security. And we will get the Recovery option. And here, we can see, Go Back to the previous version of Windows 10 option. In either case, click on Go Back option. Then, it will get ready to roll back our Windows 11 to Windows 10. It will ask, why are you going back? Select your reason. I'm going to select for another reason. Click Next. It says, try to install new updates before going back, maybe to fix problems. Click on No Thanks. Now, it says, we might have to reinstall some apps or programs after going back. Click on Next. Make sure you remember your previous Windows password to sign in. Click on Next. Now, click on Go Back to Earlier Build. System will restart. Then roll back process will begin. It is, now, restoring our previous version of Windows. It will take around 15 minutes. Restoring has been completed. As we can see, Windows 10 logo appears. Now it is booting previous version of Windows. Sign in with your password. We have successfully rolled back our Windows 11 to Windows 10 without losing data. Thank you guys for watching our video. Give us a like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos.